pandas sum. So you're going to use pandas sum when you want to sum either across your rows in your data frame, your columns in your data frame, or with this series. Let's take a look at how this goes. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. Great. And then I'm going to create a data frame. Now this data frame is going to be uh, average bills of restaurants and I'll have a column that's average bill one and then a column that's average bill two. Go ahead and run this and we can see that we have four different rows here and two different columns. So say I want to sum across the rows. And when I say sum across the rows, that means I want to sum up each row itself, which is kind of like summing the columns. Now, the hardest part about dot sum is just remembering which axis you need to set. So in this case, I'm going to set axis equals zero and zero is for the rows, meaning we're going to sum across the rows and we're going to get basically the sum of the columns. Go ahead and run this and we have average bill one with 445. And so that is going to be the sum across the rows for this column average bill one. Same thing for average bill two. Now say we wanted to get the sum across the columns. So we want to sum each row across each of its columns. Well, in that case, we just set axis equals one, and then we'll get the sum of each row across the columns. So this 523 right here is actually the summation between on row zero across this 234 and 289. Okay. Now, the next thing that we can do is we can actually sum across and uh, a multi-level index and specify which level we want to sum across. First thing that I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a multi-level index. Let's see what this one looks like in the first place. And so I have a, uh, index, an index here of fruit, uh, a second index of color, and then a count and a price column. So we have apple and we have red here. Now, what I want to do here is I want to sum across the different levels. And this, this level I'm going to sum across in the first place is going to be level zero. So in this case, I'm going to say I want to sum across fruit. So give me the sum of apple, pear, and lime. Go ahead and run this. And you can see here that I'm left with apple, pear, and lime, and then the sum of count and sum of price, uh, uh, respectively. The next thing that I'll do is I will say, hey, give me the sum, but in this time, give me the level equals one. So if this is multi-level index zero, this is multi-level index one, and now I'm gonna sum across the colors. And so then I get the uh, sum of either red or green with the sum of count and price for each one of those. Now, I don't sum across the data frame that often because I usually have other columns within my data frame that I don't want to sum, like strings or categories or something like that. What I'm usually doing is I'm usually just summing across a series. And so I will call my data frame. I will call a specific column within my data frame, which is going to return a series to me. And then I'll usually just call dot sum on top of that. Run this and you can see here that we get 805 and 805 will be the sum of the entire price column that we have right here. So that is pandas sum.